This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to calculate the effective capacity of a factory. Here's the data for our problem. Baker Manufacturing Company forecasts the following demand for a product in thousands of units over the next five years. Currently, the manufacturer has six machines that operate on a two-shift basis of eight hours each. 20 days are available per year for scheduled maintenance of equipment. Assume there are 250 working days in a year. Each manufactured good takes 24 minutes to produce. There are three requirements for this problem. First is to determine the effective capacity of the factory. Second, given the five-year forecast, we want to determine how much extra capacity is needed in each year. And third, does the firm need to buy more machines? And if so, how many? For requirement A, the first step is to determine the effective capacity in machine hours, which is calculated as the total working days per year times the number of shifts per day times the length of each shift times the number of machines. So that's 230 days per year times two shifts per day times eight hours per shift times six machines, which results in a total of 22,080 machine hours. The next step is to determine the effective capacity in units, which is accomplished by taking the effective capacity in machine hours we just calculated multiplied by the unit production time. So we take our 22,080 machine hours, multiply by 60 minutes per hour times 24 minutes per unit, which gives us 55,200 units per year. For requirement B, we can construct a quick table with a column for each year, and in the first row enter the forecast numbers provided in the data. 121,000 units forecasted for year one, 131,000 units for year two, etc., all the way to 134,000 units for year five. Next, we can enter the capacity, which we just calculated in requirement A, which is 55,200 units per year. The difference between the forecast and the available capacity is any excess capacity or shortage. In this case, we will have a capacity shortage for all years. Year 1's capacity shortage is 121,000 forecast units minus the capacity of 55,200 units, which equals a shortage of 65,800 units. The same methodology is applied for the remaining years to end up with shortages of 75,800 units in year 2, 77,800 in year 3, 80,800 in year 4, and 78,800 in year 5. This capacity shortage tells us that in order to meet forecasted demand, the company will require more machines. For requirement C, to determine how many additional machines are required, we can start with the capacity shortage calculations for each year that we did in requirement B. Next, we need to determine the capacity of each machine. So if we know the annual capacity is a total of 55,200 units per year, and there are currently six machines employed, then that works out to a productive capacity of 9,200 units per machine. So if we divide our capacity shortage amounts by the output per machine of 9,200 units, this will tell us how many additional machines are required. For year one, the capacity shortage of 65,800 units divided by 9,200 units per machine works out to 7.15 additional machines. But since we can't purchase a partial machine, we must round up to eight machines. Applying the same methodology to the remaining years two through five shows us that we'll require nine additional machines to meet forecast demand in each of those years.